Hi, I'm Matt, and let's talk about data science. So we've been hearing the term data science a lot more in recent years, but what exactly is it? Well, there's a number of definitions out there on the internet, but many of them are very verbose, and I don't, I don't like them very much. It's lacking a certain simplicity. So I wanted to introduce my own and well, really hear what you think about it. So I think that data science is the ongoing disciplined and scientific approach to the study and application of data in order to achieve a meaningful goal uh, using applied computer processing. Okay, so that's a sentence, but let's break it down bit by bit. So the first portion is it's the ongoing discipline and scientific approach. Well, as data scientists, we need to be really, really careful about the columns and features that we give to our machine learning um, algorithms, because if we don't normalize our data properly, if we don't make the right feature engineering decisions, um, our algorithms aren't necessarily going to find relationships in the data that we want them to, and they won't be able to make the proper inferences or have the level of accuracy that, that we want them to. So selecting your columns, uh, normalizing your data, it's important. Dealing with bad data, cleaning your data, that's important too. If we don't do these things, no matter how good of a routine that we find, it's, the results are going to be inaccurate or, or worse. Um, on the other hand, if we include too much, if we give our, uh, our algorithms data they shouldn't have, they may find relationships that we don't want them to in our training data that's not there in the real world. And this can actually introduce bias, which can have some pretty severe effects uh, on people. Um, so we need to have a certain degree of discipline and scientific accuracy as we're going in and structuring our experiments, as we're selecting our data, and as we're working with things. Um, Next, uh, we talk about the, is the study and application of data. Well, that makes sense. I mean, we can't really do data science without data. It's 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 a little self uh, uh, self obvious there. But I explicitly don't say big data here. I mean data of any size, uh, really any sufficient size, because you can't do data science necessarily on one or two rows or records. But uh, you don't necessarily have to have a a, a massive volume of incoming data uh, to work with as well. But data science is all around analyzing that data, finding relationships in it, maybe doing some experimental data analysis, analysis maybe looking at some statistical measures, talking about uh, the distribution of your columns, um, and then using that information to sort of make informed decisions on what to feed into your, your training routines. Uh, now, a lot of this, this uh, data visualization stuff is more towards the data analyst side of things, uh, but I think it's an important skill for data scientists to have as well because it governs how you set up your, your machine learning routines. So that's the study and application of data. Now, next, we're talking about achieving a meaningful goal. And what I mean by this is data science is not just science for science's sake. We are trying to deliver some value to some person or some organization. Um, and we're trying to, to, to deliver sustained value, really. So not just uh, when we launch our application or a proof of concept, but something that's going to be able that we're going to be able to sort of operationalize and just have running and uh, monitor for data drift and things like that. So uh, we really we need to be able to provide something that's trustworthy to the business, something that's reliable, uh, in order for people to um, put our data science uh, solutions uh, front and center. Because if people can't have uh, a, tr a certain degree of trust in data science solutions, uh, then they're not going to be able to achieve that meaningful goal that we're after. Um, so this is a little bit more than it seems. Uh, it's a certain degree of trustworthiness, transparency, reliability. Uh, and fairness, of course. Um, and finally, uh, we're talking about use, uh, solving these things using applied computer processing. So this is not uh, somebody looking at a, a, a few graphs and making a decision or making a gut feeling based on them. This is, we are relying on uh, some form of computer processing power to uh, either run a machine learning algorithm or, or some other uh, type of a processing approach. Uh, where we have some data, we're, we're going to analyze it, and we're going to come out with a uh, or with a recommendation or a prediction or something like that, depending on the type of machine learning or or, uh, or other or other type of things that we're doing. Um, and we're often doing a massive amount of computer processing. In fact, so much so that sometimes with larger data sets or uh, more complex routines like deep learning, we need to have not just one computer, but a cluster of computers. Or instead of just using the CPUs on these computers, we need to actually get uh, graphics cards and use GPUs, which really are very good for massive parallel uh, computational needs. So this is my definition of data science, uh, the ongoing discipline and scientific approach to the study and application of data to achieve a meaningful goal 
using applied computer processing. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is too simple, if I missed something important. Uh, I also have more thoughts on this and other things at accessibleai.dev. So you can check that out if you like written content as well. Um, and you can always like and subscribe to find future uh, video content uh, from me.